<clears throat> just <clears throat> I was having a good good success with another little olive calf tail bait a little uh, little bluegill but I had to cut my line so I decided to just retie with this little calf tail jig 64th ounce number 10 hook olive calf tail brown head my olive calf tail looks very brown for some reason um, it doesn't matter both gonna catch fish brown or olive they're both um, they're both really good colors that I think are <coughs> excuse me I think they're both very overlooked colors too at least brown is um, You know, olive is used a lot in bass fishing. Green pumpkin is basically olive. But generally in pan fishing, everybody just wants, you know, something bright. And bright colors definitely work, but don't overlook natural colors. You know, I, I love little, like the dark brown olive kind of colored jigs seem to do better those colors seem to do better for me than um, than anything else any other colors Oops. winds blowing in a little strong for a, a jig this light right now it's blowing straight at me and it's making it uh, very tough to cast out and to keep a <clears throat> keep a small jig like that in the strike zone. It's a nice cool day though. A little overcast. Definitely a big difference from yesterday. Yesterday it was 90. And we had thunderstorms blowing last night and uh, mid 60s today. Looks like rain. It's not supposed to. Just dark clouds. Not just gray clouds, I should say, not dark. Oop. There was a uh, little bit bigger of a fish. I don't know. There we go. I think it was this one. I think it's a might be a green sunfish. Yep, hybrid. Hooked him kind of funny, like hooked him through the tongue. forceps on the hook here but like hooked him in the, the bottom of the lip and the tongue there awesome back <coughs> I'm gonna move around a little bit I'll probably get back to you with some more fish I can't tell if those are rock bass I'm pretty sure they're rock bass could be big blue goat yep yeah. Nice rock bass. These are <clears throat> big rock bass right here. Like that is, we'll get the tape on them. Let's see, but. Eight and a half, maybe nine inches. Yeah, nine inches. So it's a nine inch rock bass. That's a good sized rock bass. Toss them back. There's still the other one is still right there. Let's see if we can get that one too. Got this smaller rock bass. I 
And I think that other one is still there. Oh wow, this is actually, this one's bigger than the, than the nine incher. That is a beautiful rock bass. We're gonna, uh, I'm gonna get a picture of this one. Get a measure on this one. Oops. Gotta get my top lined up here. Wrong side. Bear with me. Ten inches. Ten inch rock bass. That is a is a really nice rock bass. They don't get a oh, much bigger than that at all. There we go. Get him back. So, I mean, that shows you those are super aggressive rock bass right now, but just pulled three of them right out of that spot right there. Two, two big ones, you know, a nine and a ten.